It is uh, late Tuesday, September 15th, 2015. We didn't do it a regular um, 5 or 6 o'clock uh, edition. Um, I was playing a lot of games on uh, Facebook, so, um, so uh, that was it. So, uh, so, uh, we're going to do a little brief recap of today's indie news, and, and for those of you people, must remember the ban. Hold on, I will do this. I will stop talking so I can flip the, uh, camera around on Periscope, so here we go. Yes, uh, for those of you ban, remember the, uh, ban War Paint. Uh, which uh, released a very wonderful uh, CD, I think, uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, that was really cool. Now, one of the uh, uh, singers from the band War Paint is going to be releasing her uh, solo uh, release. It is from Jenny Lee Lindberg, and she will announce that she will be doing a uh, solo uh, album and will be out December 11th via Rough Trade Records. There is the trailer for it. The very lovely Jenny Lee. And this is the cover of the CD, which is entitled Ride On. I don't know what to say about the uh, cover. I think it's sort of some yoga pose. I'm not sure. So. It will be out on December 11th. Uh, a late run for the Culture City Festa 50, which will be put on our website. Uh, so, uh, uh, and uh, we're going to do a couple other releases. Uh, a couple other releases that was recorded today. The Black Lips release uh, seven inch it is entitled uh, Freedom Fives. There will be an, uh, uh, there is an audio recording. It's going to be out at a seven inch on November thirteenth on Suicide Squeeze Records. Also, the lovely Sharon Van Etten uh, also released a brand new cover of uh, Teen Angel. And that is from Donna and I. Wish I could hear it, but remember, I am going to hold off putting any recordings because you know the record and get, <laughs> get a get little ticky 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 something like that. So, uh, so um, and uh, from a little bit, it it um, it uh, I don't want to sound dumb, but I will probably sound. No, so, don't want to uh, go into it. Um, okay, uh, let's uh, wrap up one one random note. Uh, Wilco, the band who re surprised everybody recently releasing Star Wars, decided to uh, under wonder song, a uh, random. Name Generator, you can do this on BuzzFeed, a really great website, and uh, and you can take it here. So, let's, um, uh, gonna load up. Which, um, band member, Wilco members are I? They will ask you redonkulous questions, like, uh, what, if you're a member of the Panic Game, who would you be? Okay, I would say I would be Snoopy. And, uh, and, um, if you take one duo, I, they'll, they'll ask you some, uh, random questions, uh, out there. Okay, uh, we're gonna wrap it up, because if you didn't stay up to listen to Colbert last night, the Deadwaters played the first live version of I Feel Love Every A Million Miles. They, they played it on the Stephen Colbert Show last night. Uh, didn't see it yet, but it eventually will, um, considering that, uh, now that you're asking the question why Jack White was in, uh, New York, uh, because he was going to play the late show, and then I told you about the story about that little, uh, incident with, uh, Patrick Carney from the band The Black Keys, um, uh, there was almost a fight, but, uh, to clear it up one again, it's much ado about Mossing. They um, said some words, allegedly. Uh, but then um, in the morning, uh, both him and Patrick Carney, who's kind of a quiet, mellow guy from the band, 
I did talk out their issues um, a few times here and there, and they have mutual set. So once again, much ado about nothing. Okay, and uh, one more thing to wrap it up. One more thing to wrap it up. If you go on the CMJ site, and since this is uh, Detroit centric, uh, they have a Q and A with Andy Spart, the music director at WXOU uh, uh, FM in uh, Oakland University in Detroit, Michigan. So that would be really good. And one more thing, uh, Detroit gig announcement. By the way, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. Well, you can't say Jr. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. because they recently uh, dropped the name Dale Earnhardt. Long story. Uh, they are going to uh, play the fabulous Royal Oak Music Theater in Royal Oak, Michigan, on Friday, November 13, 2015. And yes, it's a Friday night special as well. So, uh, I think that will do it for this week's edition, or tonight's edition of City Live. And I'll get back to the normal lighting. We're just taking normal lighting off the computer screen. We will be back tomorrow, hopefully with some more indie news. Indie news, not much to uh, follow with. And since we're in September, I'm almost into the live music scene. And on Friday, by the way, oh, mostly, we will do new music and new movies Friday. Remember, music is now released on a Friday. All right. Thank you very much. Good night. And see you later. Bye-bye.